We just arrived at Mountain View Cemetery in Oakland. It's a very large cemetery. And yes, it does. It actually resides on the hillsides and mountains. And there's mausoleums and a chapel. And Actually, there's a couple chapels. There's an older one and a more modern, modernized chapel, which I'll film later and take some photos for everybody's pleasure of this historic place. It's very significant in Oakland and the weather's still warm even though it's almost winter and there's still flowers growing everywhere as you can see. A lot of flower buds and this is, the, this is a gothic chapel by the way. I love it. 1863 to 1963. This historic bell which told through the decades the passing of each funeral through the gates of the Mountain View Cemetery is placed here as a memorial to the pioneers and leaders who rest within these grounds and who contributed to the development of California in the Wild West. Wow. That's cool. This is not just a cemetery. This is a major historical site and significant part of Oakland's past. But we'll see a lot of historical grave markers. We're going to go visit the Millionaire's Row where many politicians are buried. Two are some nice flower gardens and there's a statue Tammy's heading to off in the distance. Let's go see what this is all about. place is huge there's literally feels like there's no end to the graves <laughs> the head's missing off this and there's a bird up there wow that's pretty So that's a Civil War cannon right there. Oakland, California. It's one of the finest cemeteries on the West Coast. It's considered a garden cemetery. A lot of flowers, oaks, imported Italian stone pines, which I've never heard of. I don't know if anybody has heard of this guy, but his name's Frederick Law Olmsted. He was the one that designed this place on the hillside. Charles Crocker, artist Thomas Hill, architects Julia Morgan, Bernard Maybach, Frank Norris, contributed to the design of this cemetery. And you can see this one, it's a pyramid. These are all crypts, very well-to-do crypts. These people were millionaires, railroad tycoons, wealthy business owners. There's a guy with his dogs. It's just an amazing cemetery. And you can see Oakland off in the distance. What they wanted to do when they designed the cemetery is they wanted to mix nature with the, with the burial ground itself. The architects that designed this place had a vision. And what they want to do is co-mangle nature and man together. Obviously because it was the Mason, a lot of the Masons had engraved and built these crypts but they still wanted to make it a place with trees and flowers kind of make it like a park just outside of downtown Oakland which you can see off in the distance it's a combination of nature and man here there's nothing that's going to compare to this place as far as burial grounds in the wild west for example look at look at the crypt off in the distance Almost the size of a small house. <laughs> I 
I believe they called this area the Millionaires Row. It's where all the millionaires were buried and well-to-do individuals of Oakland and San Francisco. Prominent people, politicians like mayors, governors, industrial leaders in the region. Tammy just pointed out to me that this monument is Ghirardelli. You guys know the famous chocolate, chocolate bars, chocolate candy. Yeah, from San Francisco. Like I said, this is the Millionaire's Isle or the Millionaire's Club. Or call it whatever you want. But this is a place where millionaires are buried. And they had a lot of money. And their, their crypts and chapels and monuments are priceless. You can't put a price on them. They were designed by masons, people with artisan trades, such as engraving. And they costed a lot of money. There's a Masonic symbol. If you notice, look at Ghirardelli. He's a Mason also. So that explains the whole intricate design of the wreath, the angel. If you notice, the, I mean, everything is engraved. Like the torches, what appears to be torches. The hourglass with the wings. Oh, yeah. Major player. Major player. Cranehagen. That's kind of bad that someone busted it. A lot of disrespectful people. Another key piece of history is Frederick Law Olmsted. He was the architect of New York City Central Park and the Capitol Grounds for Washington, D.C., Stanford University, Yosemite Park. We've been to Yosemite. We've been near Central Park in New York. Oh, cool. But the whole purpose of the cemetery that you see here is to combine harmony and mankind. And as you can see, I had to stop the camera because I wanted to photograph a little squirrel and it may not be a big deal to you but to me nature's everything and that includes the squirrels and the birds that are found here throughout this these gardens and these graves you ever see anything like this this is unbelievable some of the finest crypts and graves I've ever seen in the American West people forget that Oakland is part of the Wild West. Yeah, it's a major metropolis and city. It did start off like any of them as a small settlement or hamlet, whether it was a focused on mining or fishing, the bay, industry for the port. Benjamin Frank Weston. My point is, is that the cemetery is a relic of the past back in the day when the city began. The cemetery that you currently see on the hill here is called Mountain View Cemetery. I'm just reiterating it in my documentary so people don't get lost or forget where we're at because this place is so large and it's Oakland's biggest and finest cemetery. The cemetery was established in 1863 by the East Bay Pioneers under the California Rural Cemetery Act of 1859. Association that formed it still operates today. And many of California's important historical figures drawn by Homestead's reputation are also found here. And when I say Olmsted's reputation, what I mean is he was affiliated with many of the people buried here, which were mayors, politicians, such as governors, railroad tycoons. All of them he was affiliated with. Olmsted designed Central Park, so of course his role here will always be remembered in a design of the cemetery because he put a part of his heart and soul, a piece of himself into this place. And those that are buried here are a reminder of that. This is the Millionaire's Row, right here. Crips on both sides, 
these crypts are, I've been to some really nice cemeteries. I've been to cemeteries as many as 500,000 interments. And Mount Hope doesn't even, I mean, it's huge and beautiful, but the crypts that are found here, there's no comparison to Mount Hope or any of the cemeteries I've been to back east. This place topples it. This place is all that and more, folks. All that and more. Unfortunately, folks, we won't have a lot of time to visit every grave in the cemetery, but I'll tell you what, I will try to hit some more prominent graves. There's a monument you see in the center cemetery. We're going to definitely visit there. I think that's the, one of the governors of California, one of the first. Definitely want to go down here and check it out. It's a large cemetery, and it continues to go further up the hill. However, if you really want to check out the most prominent graves, climb to the top of Mountain View Cemetery. We're nearly at the top. And you can tour the Million Years Row, which has many well-to-do citizens that were part of Oakland and California's history back in the 1860s and all the way up until the early 1900s. Now the cemetery is used more or less, if you look beyond the trees, that's St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery. Now it seems everybody uses that cemetery because it's currently active. However, a lot of Mountain View cemeteries, interment plots are gone because you're talking thousands and thousands of people throughout the Oakland's history buried here. This is beautiful. Ewing and Camden. Carothers. Oh, wow. It's like a 50 foot monument. It's incredible. What do you suppose this volcanic rock is? You want to cut to the... You want to cut back to the car or what? Right here. Wow. Did you see that? The giant rock in the middle. It's a giant chunk of volcanic rock sitting there. <laughs> It's a monument because it's enclosed by stone. Wow. It's like a world on its own. You, it's hard to believe this place is in Oakland. It's so quiet here. Nice large chunk of volcanic rock. I'm not sure if it keeps going underground. It might be a volcanic vent. This whole area was formed by volcanoes. All the cliffs and mountains around California. And, You'll see things time to time like this, even in the foothills or the valleys just above sea level or in the, along the valleys of Sacramento and San Francisco and Oakland. A lot of volcanic activity millions of years ago. This place was a cesspool for lava burping up from the earth, from the earth at the time. The Millionaire's Row. Now we're standing across from it. Got the Oakland skyline, Cogswell Monument. A pioneer's tribute to Christian principles, love to God for all mankind, his country's flag and adopted state. Wow, Cogswell. It's unbelievable. God, I love this place. It's gorgeous here. It's like a world of its own. Mountain View Cemetery. Hughes. Look at the stained glass through here. Someone broke this window too. Beautiful stained glass. And on the ceiling, it's all stained glass. It's pretty. It's a shame that people have broken things on it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
I like how it's so hilly here. And this is St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery. And real quick, I'm going to try to get on over there because i got to pick someone up at the airport, a friend, here in Oakland. But real quick, their Millionaire's Row is at the top of the hill. That's where all the crypts are. Three cemeteries, St. A, St. Mary's, and then this the hillside we stand on, and the mountainside, or the mountain you see in front of me. And they call it Mountain View Cemetery. And Mountain View is the largest of the three. Her arm's missing. It's a shame. There is some damaged stones. I'm sure there's many more. I've only seen a few. But there's, there are time to time you do see them, so we'll try to at least put on our website the ones that are damaged just to kind of show people that there has been some desecration. It is a city cemetery. It's expected. It shouldn't happen, but there's a lot of people that can't control or control their behaviors or appreciate history like the Paranormal Ghost Society and other exploration groups like mine. So the next area we're going to head to is going to be the Civil War section of Mountain View Cemetery. It has some cannons. It's the real deal. It might be a veteran cemetery. It may not just be Civil War, but based on the, the cannons, the type of cannons they are, you could tell that they come from that era. pretty. i seen a Stellar J. Those are normally seen only in the high Sierras. And there was a Stellar J hopping around on the gravestones. Yep, that's all St. Mary's. And then below it's the Jewish portion, Sine, which is its own cemetery, but it blends with Mountain View. Mountain View and that, you know, there's no fence between Mountain View and Mount Sine, but there's a fence down here and walls. Standing almost at the top of Mountain View Cemetery. However, the, the top is actually up this hill. But if you come on to the uh, if you come over to the edge of Mountain View, it overlooks St. Mary Cemetery with the city skyline of Oakland. And then you have more suburban housing up in the San Gabriel Mountains here. Pretty cool. The top of mountain views right here. There's a guy climbing the hill. This is like this this isn't this is part of the San Gabriel Mountains, isn't it? This mountain. It's like a foothill of it. Or is this like another valley on the other side? Let's see. No wonder why people jog. Holy shit. There are gravestones here. Look. So you can't really see them. Flat stones? Mm -hmm. Ah. That's odd. Why would they have a section like that just with flat stones? Unless this is the more modern part of the cemetery up there. I don't know, but this is a pretty narrow foot part. Well, welcome to Oakland and San Francisco where the roads are narrow and the hills are steep. <laughs> where you can roll your vehicle at any moment. There's graves all along here. Is that a hole? So far, everybody's been pretty nice to me in Oakland. The city welcomes the Lord. They welcome the Lord. San Francisco did not welcome the Lord. But Oakland says, come on down, Lord. <laughs> Look at this shit. I wonder if this just goes to the top and overlooks the whole place. I'm just curious is all. As long as I don't run into slow people, I'll be alright. 
Look how high up we are. We are above the city. Actually, this is the top of Mountain View. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like a kid right now unwrapping gifts. Look, there's a heap of dirt and a post. That's the top of the mountain right there. And that goes around here. And this goes around to the front. That's the peak right there. Can you see any of this part of the cemetery though? That's the question. Not really, because they're all covered by trees. Yeah. car up here and people with dogs. Wow, look at that view. This is a good viewing area. I need to get a picture. It's about the best spot to view the cemetery. See, there's the big crypts right there. <laughs> what do you think of this? Look, there's San Fran. You see San Fran straight to your right? Mm -hmm. R yep the cranes and all that's the port of San Francisco San Francisco in Oakland yeah I can't see anything it's so hazy I don't know if that's smog is it smog from drivers or I mean you got millions of people here or is it just because it's we're on the ocean and it's just hazy today you could probably on a clear day see San Francisco better and then you could I could see that tall pyramid building but on a clear day you probably could see the whole bay huh One of the views from the top. San Francisco. One of the views from the top of Mountain View Cemetery. That's where the Millionaire's Row is. Top of one of their biggest monuments. Craft. Like the mac and cheese and the cheese slices. <laughs> and velvet. Velveeta? Is Velveeta made by crack? Craft? Probably. But I would imagine crack. Like, that guy. <laughs> this is probably a much bigger too. Yeah. That's not the real craft. <laughs> or maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it is. Damn you, your cheese slices are too expensive. <laughs> They're not even real cheese. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not nowadays you get the fake cheese, extra additives, so they mm -hmm. so you only get like five percent cheese, the rest is all like like Gel, gelatin, and shit. <laughs> Craft, damn you. <laughs> here, let's go over here. And then I can come down where the cannons are up here. There's a huge monument coming up. Whoa, this road sucks balls. They didn't make these roads for people like us. Put you on a camera. That's right, I'm not in the Jeep. I keep thinking I'm in the Jeep and I'm off roading. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Oh yeah, when you rent these vehicles, they're like toys, you know what I'm saying? It's like everything breaks. If you hit one little bump, you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We just passed the, oh yeah, we just passed the Zen section. I see it right here. I could spend days exploring this place, Jesus Christ. Pardon my French, but man. This place is huge. Somebody also had broken, I believe it was a cross. The arm is also broke. Broken, but not forgotten. Beautiful masonry work, but when they broke it, you can see now it looks like the angel's holding a cell phone and dialing the Lord. <laughs> Being like, what's up, heaven? So what we got going on here. Johnny was naughty today and I saved a couple lives in the graveyard from people speeding and almost driving off the cliffs 
are flipping over in a grueling pothole. <laughs> and I'm just joking around. You gotta have a little humor when you do this type of work. But I love this place, and I would love to revisit it someday down the road when I have more time. Wow. Man, sorry I had to run. That's huge. Wow. So, Washington Ryer. Wives of the Dead at Mountain View Cemetery in Oakland. Born New York, 19... Look, look. Oh, wow. So we'll right up on him. Huh. Born in New York in 1821, Ryer studied medicine, joined General Winfield Scott's Mexican campaign as an assistant surgeon. After the defeat of Mexico, he brought the sick and wounded to New Orleans. And impressed with opportunities to be found in California, he returned there with the army and opened a medical practice in Stockton. Lucrative practice allowed him to invest in real estate and retire at age 40. In 19, or 1856, the California Assembly commissioned the respected Dr. Ryer to investigate the operations at the state hospital for the insane. Ryer later testified that the hospital administration was incompetent. He was heard to say he's going to stick his nose in other people's business once too often. One dark evening shortly thereafter, Ryer was accosted on the street and beaten with fists and pistol butted by Dr. Langdon, the guy that was running the insane asylum. Oh no. Ryer warned that warned the two that he was going to arm himself and hunt them down. The news that one doctor was hunting, the other one raced through the pioneer town. One of Ryer's friends, versed in deep South dueling culture, suggested they duel to settle the matter, even though the bloody coat of dueling had been outlawed in California. Ryer dutifully followed the required steps of the written challenge, and the date for the duel was set on the foggy morning. The two met in San Joaquin Riverbank. Before the duel could commence, the sheriff appeared and put a stop to the proceedings. A few days later, two skiffs filled with duck hunters slipped over the beach to a rough and ruddy island. On a clear afternoon, at the first signal, Ryer's hair trigger fired into the ground, and Langland's gun cracked, and the bullet whisked past Ryer's ear. A second set of bullets did the same. Once more, said Ryer, three shots for a blow. That's a code, isn't it? <laughs> Ryer's third shot struck Landon on the leg, shattering his knee. Oh, wow. Shoot out. Huh. Langdon could squeeze off his own shot. Dr. Langland died crippled in 1880. In 1860, Dr. Ryer married Mary Fletcher, and they had one child named Fletcher. Watched where I lived in, until 1992. He was a noted physician and pillar of the community. Ryer Island is named in his honor. Ryer Island. So he's not a politician, but he was a, a doctor and obviously had balls to have a duel. <laughs> you know? Wow. That's cool. So that was not a politician. You see a statue standing on that monument? It's Dr. Washington Ryer, who was in a duel, was a dentist, opened up his own practice. A very prominent figure in the Oakland area. Isaac Cerny. Cerny. Mary Cerny. It's a beautiful stone, but I don't know. Who every interment is. Some of these were historical figures, and you'd you'd have to get a guide. They have tours, and you get a guide, and it talks about some of the more prominent burials found. Joseph Deves, Central Deves. Wow, there's more than one burial. Isaac Cerny, Mary Cerny, Joseph Deves, Sir Gertrude Deeds, Deves. Wow. It's crazy. It's a pioneer section here, ladies and gentlemen, on this hill. Some of the first burials that occurred occurred right along here, and then they started moving their way down into the valleys and the mountains and hillsides. 
look at this. Just want to make note of this. The Pioneer section is heavily vandalized. This is just proof of that. A lot of vandalism here. Wow, there's an old building. Yeah, this is all the frontier. The, this is all the early pioneers that came to the Oakland and San Francisco Bay. We're going to be going on Angel Island a couple days to the old immigration station because it's the Ellis Island of the West. And some of the people that came through that immigration station and were housed there said they could get health checks, make sure they're clear to become a U.S. citizen or buried right on this hillside. Some history for everybody. It must be dedicated for the pioneers with the flag. It says justice. Wow. It's an elk. It's now deer. <laughs> now I zoomed in on it. What is this? A castle? This looks like a castle. There's like pointy steeples. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Not a millionaire's row, but I'll tell you what, these are some fine crypts and they're all connected. <laughs> I've never seen connected crypts before. Wow. Wow. Fidelity Justice. Brotherly love. Charity. Wow. <laughs> At the top of Mountain View. Not at well, the top. The peak is here, but another hill. Overlooking Mountain View Cemetery with this nice monument. Bent cross, and then you have this pyramid down here. Very strange. There's every type of tombstone you could think of. And there's like a Chinese dragon or something down there. I wonder if this is the Chinese. No, this is not Chinese. Oh. Interesting. I mean, it's probably a fraternal symbol. Let me zoom in. Oh, it looks like a horseshoe kind of, huh? A reef around there? Yeah, it's fraternal. There was multiple fraternal groups like the Masons, Knights of Pythias, the Order of Oddfellows. Those are none of those. I forgot what symbol that belongs to. Look, well, there's a Chinese. There's a bunch of Chinese st stones here. Some. Look. Oh, not this one, but the last one was all written in Chinese. Wow. Look at that. Native American? Nice. I didn't know this had a Native American section. No, well, it's not the section. Oh. Just at oh. <laughs> Look at that creepy ass statue. It's like half human and half beast. I seen this from the back side, but I didn't realize. Look at that. That's creepy. What do they call them? It's like a woman with a lion's body. I do not know what they call them. I know there's a name for them, those type of statues. Sphinx, maybe. Well, that's what it says it is, a sphinx. There's I a sphinx? I completely forgot about... They are sphinx. They got the headdresses and everything. Wow. Wow, what a great find. All the things I explore, and I just keep finding all these 
unique gravestones and epitaphs and architecture. And there's culture too, a lot of culture here, and a mix of ethnicities, hence Oakland being a very large city. With every type of working class citizen buried here. Great fire, major earthquake. You also have freak accidents. It's a bustling city. A lot of car accidents. This is a wall right here. I wonder how many people are buried here. It's definitely in the thousands, huh? More like over 50,000 maybe here, I don't know. Could be more, could be 100,000. In Rochester, New York, Mount Hope has 500,000 burials, or intermits. Yeah. We're back to square one. Now where's the Civil War Cemetery? Around this side. Around the mausoleums. Maybe Spanish-American War, but this guy is listed here in 1882. And the only wars during that time were the Civil War. And a lot of the soldiers for the Civil War were drafted for the Union from California. They drafted them. And then when they died, their bodies were brought back here for burial. These are all 1800s. There was no other wars in 18, 18, 1865. The Civil War ended, 1864-65. And back then... A lot of the men came back to California when the war was done. Therefore, they'd be buried. There's flags all along this wall. Let me see what the monument says. There's, a, there's cannons with the wooden cogs, iron bars. Man, this place is gorgeous. Guys, seeing what I'm seeing. All above the city of Oakland, a precious gem exists on this mountain side. There's a lot of flags near some of the stones. Team is like, it can't be Civil War. California wasn't involved. Not true. Nevada and California were in support of the Union, providing precious metals towards the cause of the war. 1865, our nation's honored dead. Yep, Civil War. May 30th, 1893, before the Spanish-American War. World War I, World War II, Vietnamese and Korean Wars. You have to pay your respects to these soldiers. You have to if you come here. I told Tammy, I said, I'll make sure we visit the soldier cemetery or the, or the Civil War. A lot of Civil War soldiers are buried. 1891. Here, Fletcher. Fleckner. Flugner. U.S. soldier. 